hey guys i've been really wanting to try the sleek life proof foundation <sighs> i saw it in store i think it was in boots and i really 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 wanted to try it and i went onto the sleek website and it says that is sweat proof, oil free and medium to full buildable coverage so it kind of says to me that it's matte or natural kind of finish that's, that's just the kind of vibe that I'm getting from what it says sweat proof and oil free so that's just the, yeah bye 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 I found it so difficult to find my shade. I mean, Jesus Christ. In Boots and Superdrug, I think I went to about three different stores and I just found that each store has their own selection of colours. There was no two stores which had the same shades, which was really irritating because I think there's... I think there's probably about 10 or 15 shades I I think from what I remember there's a I think there's about 10 or 15 shades so and only one of them had testers the rest of the, the, the stores did not have any testers so at first I am trying to test it by doing this like test like uh, matching the color which is showing here to the skin on my hand and doing it like this to see if it will match and that's just not, it's just not really an adequate way to try and colour match because I thought that I was an LP10, this is LP14. But when I found a store which had testers, this one, literally it was perfect on my hand. I don't know if it's going to oxidise or whatnot, but when I did test it, it really was a good match and the rest of them were way too light so the ones which were just a little bit lighter than this even though it wasn't LP10 like I thought it was they were just way too light on my hands so um, I've got LP14 I bought this a couple of days ago it was $8.99 in super drug and it has 30 mil which is 1.0 flow ounces and I like the packaging of this I mean it's so sleek <laughs> it's just slim it's small I think it will be great for travel so I've taken off my makeup for the day like all of my face makeup I've kept my eye and my brow makeup on and I'm going to use the Nivea express hydration primer and if you remember from my previous video about this you don't really need a lot but I would never advise that you put on tons of primer anyway because I remember one time I put on a little bit too much primer not this particular one but I put on way too much primer and my foundation was heavy that day I felt disgusting my Whew. Seriously, you just need a thin layer of primer. So I'm gonna shake it up now. And you've seen me take off the seal. I have never used this before. And this is sealed up also. Oh God, it popped straight out the top. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my God. Oh my God, it just won't stop. This is a mess already. It's just a mess. Like, it's just... So I've got two different uh, brushes that I'm going to use. I'm going to use what I normally use, which is my Artiste looking brush. This is like my favorite brush for applying foundation, or should I say for blending foundation. I always put my foundation with a foundation onto my skin with a regular foundation brush and then on the other side I'm going to use this flat top brush as well I don't use beauty blenders or beauty sponges to blend out my foundation because I just find that it shears I just found that it shears out my foundation way too much and I'm not getting the coverage that I prefer mm. Can you see that is so deep and contemplating was installed this was perfect okay so this side we're gonna use my artiste well my artiste dupe brush and I've found that 
patting really really helps rather than smearing so this is one side I'm going to blend in the other side using my flat top kabuki I definitely feel that the side that I blended in with the artiste looking brush came out a lot better than brush side because I can still see my blemish through the foundation. But the blemish that I have on this side is not as apparent, although it is still kind of peeking through a little bit. And just overall on the artiste side or the toothbrush side, it just looks a little bit more natural and this side just it looks like i've put on a ton of foundation i'm always going to like the look of foundation better with this on the color it is a little bit on the orangey side but it's not too orange like this can be saved once i was once i do like my full face of powder once i do my contour and bronzing blah 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 that can be saved it's not overly like dark or just the wrong shade it can be saved but i'm used to having a foundation which is practically my skin color so it is a little bit of a shame that this is not right on the nose but it can work my first impression of it it's not my favorite like usually on application is when you find that a foundation will look its best and i don't feel like this foundation looks it's best on first application. I am used to wearing things like Makeup Forever's Ultra HD and Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundations which are a little bit more high-end. Not to sound like I only wear high-end because that's not the case but those do apply a lot better than this one does. On top of that I'm just I'm finding that it's accentuating like my pores and fine lines. I'm not 100% sold on this one like I'm going to use it I don't feel like it's something you need to run out and buy I, I really don't there's probably better ones on the market because I've just had foundations which look, which look so much better on application I'm, I'm not 100% sold on this one as for the actual claims of it being sweat proof and oil free I'm not too sure at the moment but it does kind of give like a very natural kind of glow whether or not that will change in a few hours i'm not 100 percent sure as for the medium to full buildable coverage i've only put on one layer and i'm kind of afraid to put on a second layer if i'm 100 percent honest you know let's let's just do one side of a second layer okay so let's see if i can cover this blemish that's right here and whenever I'm doing a second layer, I tend not to go too heavy. I tend to just try and um, cover the bits that I'm not, that I don't feel is covered 100%. Okay, so this is the second layer. That's the first layer. That's two layers. That's one layer. And I know my lighting isn't the best. I know that. But like, I can still see that blemish poking through. And there's other foundations that I use that once I've put on one layer, it's fine, it's gone, but I've put on two and it's still there. It is full coverage with the second layer, but it just looks so cakey. It looks really, really cakey. It looks thick. And that's just not the look that I go for. And I can just see all my pores. Oh my gosh. I really wanted to like this foundation. I really did. Okay, I'm gonna try and put some powder on and see what it does. Okay, so I've got my powder palette. I'm just going to take a couple of those colors that I would normally use. Putting powder over it hasn't really helped it. And I'm just kind of feeling like I'm not too keen on this foundation. I really wanted to like it, I really did. Because I really like Sleek. I mean, I love their highlighter palettes. I, I love their highlighter palettes. They are just like pouting your face. And I've done a video about their highlighter palettes. So I really, really wanted to like the foundation. And it's just, not living up to how I like it to be on first application. 
And the thing is, I tend to find that once, well, I think a lot of people just tend to find that a few hours into the day, it's just your, your, your skin just is not the same as when you first applied. So if it looks like this, when I've done my first application, what's it gonna look like in a few hours time? That's what I'm worried about. Mm, I'm not too sure about this one. I, I really wouldn't advise, I know that it's only 8.99 and I think it's probably okay for someone who, I don't know, who just wants a, an, an affordable foundation. But I think this, it just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't do it for me. That's just the, the honest, that's just the, the, the be or end all of it. I'm, I'm not keen on it considering the first application. I just feel like it's so thick, cakey. It accentuates all of my pores. I'm just not 100% at all. <sighs> What a shame, what a shame. Anyway, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put me on notification. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Hopefully, like I'm gonna give, the, don't get me wrong. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a chance. Hopefully I can, I'll wear it over the next couple of days, but on first application, I'm just not keen. Sorry, sleep. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.